guys welcome back uh, so today i will be you know explaining a little bit about commerce tool so uh, so that you people uh, who is working on this commerce tool can get started with uh, this uh, particular tool or service uh, which they are providing uh, so basically commerce uh, commerce tools is nothing but uh, in the name itself it says commerce so it's basically uh, related to e-commerce so basically they provide uh, uh, you know kind of all the services uh, related to e-commerce thing so it's a headless uh, uh, e-commerce platform uh, so basically it follows uh, mac architecture uh, when i say mac architecture uh, it's um, basically we have to you know they provide the service and in the front end we have to make use of their apis or their sdks which they provide to build our website or e-commerce site uh we can you know include different uh, uh, services along with commerce tool to com- uh, make a full uh, complete uh, package of our application so this is one of the uh, application uh, this is a main uh, application which we can use for uh, you know creating the e-commerce platform so mac architecture uh, it's nothing but okay it's uh, microservices api first cloud native headless so Uh, so day by day this particular architecture is uh, becoming popular uh, uh, among different uh, you know uh, industries so they are making use of this one so that you know if you are building your application in different uh, platforms like mobile or tablet or your web based so that we can just build the front end and make use of uh, the back end services which these guys give like commerce tools or uh, any other uh, uh, services so this is one of the services which i'll be explaining so that you can uh, get started with so you can uh, register uh, here uh, they they provide a 60 days um, a free trial tools if you go to commerce tool can see 60 day trial only uh, um a con or uh, disadvantage is you can't make use of uh, gmail.com or all those things you'll have to make use of your company um uh, website uh, com- company emails i'm sorry so you have to make use of company email so if i give learn in a nutshell and click outside this is this form does not accept addresses from gmail.com so i tried a protonmail.com it didn't work so at last i had to make use of one of my website uh, which i had uh, which i own uh, its email id uh, so i created one uh, email there and uh, i made use of that so if you have your own website you can create a email a email id there and make use of that uh, so after uh, creating uh, so everything will be empty here so basically they provide the category customers products orders carts discounts all these things they they already provided inventory as well uh, so let's get started uh, with this thing so what we'll do is uh, we will uh, try to import or uh, try to import their own data so that uh, we can get started with so you can search for uh, commerce tools sunrise that is the data which uh, they have so you can click on this one sunrise data so if you see here uh, there is uh, the steps the steps that is required to run is shown here so what i'll do is i'll just uh, uh, download the zip open this one and uh, just extract once extracted uh, can just type uh, cmd and then type code so that we can open this so basically it will open a new vs code um so what we'll have to do is open that particular folder which we just uh, extracted to go to downloads and uh, click on this commerce tool and click on select folder 
so after this if you see here uh, after this if you see here they have given the other steps you have to run the npm install so basically you will have to install in a node.js so you can just search for node.js download so just click on no, this first link and click on this windows installer this will download this one and you have to just click on next 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 and install it so once that is installed along with that npm will also get installed npm is a service uh, so that we can add the dependencies or install the dependencies that uh, is there in the package.json file so after uh, i have already installed i'm not going to install it again so if you see here in the package.json they have given all the required files the dependencies here these dependencies it will uh, try to install uh, it will install so what we'll do is we'll go to a uh, new terminal and click and type npm install so basically whatever is there in this uh, um, the package.json it will install meanwhile what we'll do is we'll go and create one uh, api token on the so we have to go to settings and click on developer settings so basically it will create a auto uh, credentials for us so that we can access this particular uh, application uh, so you have to click on uh, create new api client after going to developer settings after clicking on developer settings we'll have to go to uh, uh, we have to click on this uh, create new api we can give it as uh, name as code auth whatever name you want you can give as of now i'm giving the admin client uh, permission so that i can select everything so i've selected everything and i've uh, i'm clicking on create so this after creating it will show the details the client id and the secret only for the first time so you cannot access this one again so for safety what you can do is you can just download and keep it uh, so that you know uh, we can refer it anytime you want so we can just copy that and drag that and put it here in our root folder uh, rename this as dot uh, env so dot env um, is a you know a file that is used to write the constants everything in node.js so it will automatically detect uh, when, whenever we start the server so if we go here and check the products as of now so it's completely empty now so what we'll do is uh, we'll do the next step uh, you can use any one of these things so if i just run this one npm run start it will input everything uh, uh, which is located in this particular path if you see here npm run npm run start so this is the one npm run and if you are uh, click uh, running this uh, if you are calling this start it will basically build everything and uh, import the data so so that is uh, npm run start if you see npm run clean data that's here npm clean data you can find it here so what i'll do is i'll just run npm run start so that what it will do it will uh, clean everything which is there in the uh, commerce tool app and import the fresh data or sunrise data so they have all the dummy data uh, for us to get started with the uh, commerce tool so npm run start so it takes some time uh, because they are uh, importing almost 300 3000 products i guess so up to 3000 products they are importing so first they will uh, look for the environment file and try to connect it uh, using their sdks so all the sdks uh, uh, the commerce tool sdk dependencies are here see so this is for the auth and this are for all the builders everything in the client So it is importing all the data as of now. 
first it will uh, delete all the project data from our commerce tool uh, application and then uh, it will try to import everything so one by one it will get everything will get imported so all these are done as of now product types imported now save products now they are just importing the products so there are about 2931 products which they are adding so if you go to merchant tool and and refresh you can see the file getting imported here even the categories they add everything they add so so this is only for us to get started with so if you want later on you can just uh, clean the data using uh, npm run import data this is for again importing the data this is for cleaning all the data from that project so if you want to import a particular thing then you can give that particular uh, resource type if it is a category you can give category if it is products you can give products so it will only import those things so let's see if it's done now so it's still uh, importing it says products are imported so okay all data is imported now so all the data are imported and uh, you can uh, check all the imported data in their respective resources so product list will show all the products so same way customers customer list will show the customers the dummy dummy customers which they have uh, imported orders will show the uh, dummy orders which they have created so all these things we have to map and you know uh, develop our own applications um, using their uh, apis which they have provided so i'll go uh, more on this api things in the next uh, video till then thank you so thank you guys uh, for watching the video if you liked it and if you want to continue watching uh, videos related to commerce tool please do subscribe and uh, you know hit the like button if you have any doubts please uh, post it in the comment section and if you want to share with uh, your friends you can surely do that you can just share the uh, link with your friends or click on the share button thank you so much guys uh, see you in the next video bye